This is a short summary of the medium-term budget policy statement by the Minister of Finance. First of all, as expected, the Minister of Finance reduced his estimates for economic growth this year. He now expects 0.7% in economic growth. I think he's a little bit too optimistic and the subsequent economic growth forecast for subsequent years have also been adjusted downwards to roughly about 2% or so. Uh, I'm a bit concerned about that. I think economic growth can come in significantly lower than that. The Minister's estimates on inflation over the next couple of years is roughly between, say, 5 and 5.5% or so. And that, of course, will depend on what's going to happen to the exchange rate of the currency. And we are certainly running risk that inflation can exceed those estimates by the Minister. And it may even possible that the, the inflation rate can go above 6% in the short term. The Minister's expectations for the current account deficit is around about 4% of GDP, which is quite high for a country like South Africa, and which suggests that the rand is likely to remain under pressure in the foreseeable uh, future. On taxes, a couple of other announcements or some deductions what one can make. Uh, for example, it is possible, and I think reading between the lines, the Minister of Finance is likely to announce a, a reduction in personal income taxes, at least to address the effect of inflation or fiscal drag, but do not expect more than that. So taxes are likely to remain fairly high and no significant tax reductions can be expected in next year's budget. If there's a reduction in some taxes, it's likely to be personal income taxes, but only to address the effect of inflation. The Minister of Finance is putting a lot of emphasis on better financial management, especially for the local authorities. That's a very good idea. And for the state on enterprises, another good idea. Whether he will be able to actually enforce that, that of course is another question. The Minister of Finance also told us that we all have to pay our taxes and we all have to pay our tolls. And I'm sure that's going to be a significant fight. I'm not so sure people will be, uh, will be prepared to pay their tolls, especially the tolls that, that has um, accumulated to very high uh, amounts uh, for some individuals and companies. So tolls will become a next a pressure issue over the next couple of months. Minister of Finance uh, indicated that they would like to work with the private sector. Certainly that is important, but a very interesting comment that the Minister of Finance made is, remember earlier this year that the civil servants again got excessive wage increases and the Minister of Finance is going to force the different departments to somehow find the money somewhere else. Now that is probably going to lead to a lot of conflict in Cabinet and I wonder if the Minister of Finance is actually going to succeed in forcing the departments to taking this knock on their own bottom line and it may in any event lead to some issues as far as service delivery is concerned. Some specific numbers on the budget. The budget revenue is likely to be about close to 7, uh, 30 billion rand below budgeted estimates primarily because of that and I'm particularly concerned about personal income taxes uh, or rather company taxes that likely to come in at about 6 billion below the budgeted estimates, which is an indication of the very, very weak economic growth. Value-added tax collections uh, is expected to be about 20 billion below the budgeted estimates, which suggest weak uh, domestic demand in the South African economy, but there are some other technical things, uh, uh, reasons for uh, weaker VAT collections as well. The fiscal deficit is expected to be around about 4% to GDP, which of course is a totally unsustainable number and that will contribute to a further increase in the debt levels relative to GDP. And debt now is expected to reach a high of close to 60% to GDP in the year 2024. In the current financial year, uh, the Minister expects that to reach 56% uh, relative to GDP, which is also uh, at the new record high levels. I think the Minister of Finance is wrong, and I think debt is likely to exceed even these high levels expected by the Minister of Finance. Again, South African Airways is getting another 5 billion rand. Prasa is also getting a, another a five or six billion rand or so and a number of items have been zero rated for VAT by the Minister of Finance which is not going to make a real difference. The reality is that we have a new Minister of Finance who has been honest about the dire straits of the South African economy, about the absolute horrible state of state finances in South Africa. The question is uh, this will this new Minister of Finance be able to dig us out of this hole? This hole that was created by his own government, a destructive ANC government. Will he get us out of this hole? It's going to take us a very, very long time, and I'm not holding my breath.